Thank you very much. It's a very sad day for, in my opinion, the country. A New York State judge just ruled, and he's crooked as you can get. And a lot of people expected something like this, but not for the amount. Uh, but this is a very dishonest man. This is a man that's been overturned already on this case four times. But a crooked New York State judge just ruled that I have to pay a fine of $355 million for having built a perfect company. Uh, great cash, great buildings, great everything. It affects New York. It's mostly talking about New York, where we have a totally corrupt Attorney General. She campaigned on the fact that I will get Trump, I will get Trump. Everybody's seen it. Leticia James, they've all seen it. Well, we'll be appealing. But more important than that, this is Russia, this is China, this is the same game. It all comes out of the DOJ, it all comes out of Biden. It's a witch hunt against his political opponent, the likes of which our country has never seen before. You see it in third world countries, banana republics, but you don't see it here. So I just want to say this. You build a great company. There was no fraud. The banks all got their money, 100%. They love Trump. They testified that Trump is great, great customer, one of our best customers. They testified beautifully. And the judge knows that. He's just a corrupt person. And we knew that from the beginning. We knew it right from the beginning, because he wouldn't give it to the commercial division. This judge thought Mar-a-Lago is worth $18 million, and it's worth anywhere from 50 to 100 times that amount. So we realized that. He ruled against me before he even got the case. He ruled against me. He said I was guilty. He didn't know what I was guilty of before he even got the case. And Letitia James, that's another case altogether. She's a horribly corrupt attorney general, and it's all having to do with election interference.